Hey, hello everyone! Uh, what's up? You are watching a uh, fresh and exciting video on the channel in VR and today we are going to dive deeper into the rabbit hole. That's right, it's going to be awesome. We will be checking out a Steam VR home experience called uh, Driftwood that brings your own personal outpost to the VR world. This environment has been uh, developed by HTC Creative Labs and lets you explore a beautifully detailed beach, spot indigenous flora and fauna, organize your trophies inside your own travel pod and let you invite your friends over to your own social lobby. But there is more. As you may know, HTC is the official partner of the Ready Player One movie and because of that they decided to hide a few easter eggs from the movie inside Driftwood. So now it's up to us to find these hidden props and catch them all. I hope you are all going to uh, join me on this little hunt. Now it's time to uh, jump into the VR oasis and uh, have some fun. Of course, let's -a go! Haha, -ha! well hello there and welcome to the Summit Pavilion. This is my Steam VR home. This is where the magic happens. This is where I start off when I jump into the metaverse and in this place you can invite your friends, you can play games and uh, do uh, so much more and you gotta see the view, it's absolutely stunning. Check this out. Welcome to the wasteland. <laughs> so anyways, let's uh, travel to uh, Driftwood. I'm going to open up the menu. Let's go to environments and select this one right over here. So this world has been made by uh, HTC and they recently added a bunch of uh, Ready Player One uh, props in there. So yeah, join me on this epic adventure while we hunt for those uh, easter eggs. It's going to be an interesting journey, yes. So where are we? Well that's a good one. We are uh, standing in a Vive travel pod this is a, a spaceship, but can also be your home. Yeah, welcome to the future. So I can see the book of Ready Player One. And uh, let's just grab it and see what it's all about. Careful, Natey, there is a, oh, Vive. Don't destroy it. You destroyed many uh, headsets before. <laughs> Thanks for the facts. Are you ready? I am. If you haven't read the book yet, then go for it and also watch the movie, of course. can highly uh, recommend. So what do they say? Completely freaking awesome! A nerdgasm! I was blown away by this book. I really, really loved Ready Player One. Ooh. Ah, the uh, excitement is uh, real. Let me know in the comments below if you are going to the movie. I hope so. You can make this book really small, so it fits into your pocket, or you can make it extremely big. It's crazy. This is why I love VR. The possibilities are basically endless. Oh, no, ah! I nearly killed myself with a large Ready Player One uh, book. I just wanna put it right over here. Oh, balance it, you can do it. Oh, let's put it on the floor instead. Much uh, safer. Oh, that's a poster of uh, Fallout. Have fun, come home soon. Don't forget seashells. Aw, that's a drawing of this Vive pod. I didn't knew I had kids and snowballs. That's a heavy snowball. <laughs> the physics are real. We also have a bunch of Vive controllers. Have you ever seen this? I don't think so. Oh, it just disappeared. Magic. <laughs> oh, it disappeared into a wormhole. This is strange though, because I'm using touch controllers, but I'm holding a Vive wand. Hmm, my brain does not compute. Oh, it stays on the floor now. Impossible. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, this is mental. This makes no sense at all. Can we wear it? Oh, we found a key. 
That's another reference to the Ready Player One movie right there. Cool beans. Ooh. Soon we will be ruling the virtual reality oasis. This is the first key we found so far. Maybe we can find two more. Who knows? Uh, time will tell. Aw, oh, it's so tiny! Aw! Oh. <laughs> oh, someone should make a tiny Vive or a tiny Rift. And then, last but not least, we have a poster of Ready Player One. It's the official movie poster and uh, it says, uh, an adventure too big for the real world. Who, who, who? Steven Spielberg, surprise us. Oh, I can't stop staring at this poster. It's so freaking epic. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much everything you can find within the HomePod. I hope there is more here, but I don't think I found anything else besides of this book. The HMD with the keys in there and the poster. So, yeah, if you jump in here and you find more, then uh, be sure to let me know. Let's uh, open the travel pod and uh, enter the outside world. Ooh. <laughs> the design. It's like an egg. It's so round, sexy, and oh! There we have the Iron Giant. Oh. Impressive. Most impressive. We are uh, soon going there, don't worry. But first, let's eat bacon. Oh. Mm. Oh, this smells like heaven. Can I. Oh. This is what I like about VR. When you eat food in the matrix, your brain thinks it's real. And then you technically also eat bacon in real life, yeah. So that's enough, oh, that balance, bam, <laughs> nailed it. Nice one, Natey. Oh, another book, is this, oh no, that's not Ready Player One. The cat did it. Ooh, that's a spooky, scary cat, right there. And ooh, a Steam VR mug. Please, Valve, make Steam VR merchandise. Would totally buy. Yes. So there he is. In its full glory. The Iron Giant. Ah. Oh. That is so, so cool. Hi, it's a me, an 80. How are you doing today? Just uh, chilling? Can I sit on his shoulder? Can I go any closer? Oh no, that's it. They should really add a walking locomotion. Movement options are always welcome. This environment is completely free, by the way. I will make sure there is a link in the description below. So this is how close I can get. That's the max. Oh, the sounds. Rusty. Rusty spoons. Okay, let's go uh, this way. Ah! Oh, we found a action figure of the Iron Giant. <laughs> Ooh. You want to eat some scrap? I hope so, because I'm hungry. Very hungry. Look, it's a you. Just a little bit smaller. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> uh. 
I want to have one of these on my shelf. Let's go back to the home pod. Gotta go fast. This way. Hey! What up? Pod sweet pod. <laughs> That's the spirit. Let me put you right over here, my friend. Uh, looking slick. Not bad at all. No. Oh, he's staring into my soul. <laughs> oh, it's a bit creepy. Oh, that key. My precious. Gollum. Gollum. Oh, there's another Fallout 4 VR poster. Fallout everywhere. I just hope that Ready Player One as a movie will push VR forward. But that's something we don't really know. I just hope it will have its effects on the popularity of VR in general. We'll see, we'll see. You even get info about the Driftwood uh, world here and its different areas. Hey, there's another uh, home pod. Hey there, rowdy guy. Yeah, he's my neighbor. Funny fact. But yes. Let's hope that after people went to the movie, they will also try out VR because they got curious about the whole concept. You can experience the VR Oasis now if you want to. There are many, many experiences and games that give you a glimpse of what the future is going to be all about. So yeah, don't waste that opportunity, I would say. That seagull is floating in midair. What is this for a dark sorcery? So I think I found everything in here. I'm not sure if there's more, but on the website they said you could find a book, the Iron Giant, a poster, and a Vive. And that's all we found in the end. It wasn't that hard though. But still, I can't complain. Driftwood is uh, completely free and you can even go in here together with your friends and uh, explore this uh, environment together. Yes. I met up with lots of people here. It's a sweet meeting point. It is. Wait a second. No way. <laughs> I was complaining about better hiding spots. And, uh, well, there we have one. Okay, okay, you know what? I take it back. Instant karma. I'm sure there is a lot more you can find here, but I'm going to end this video, so I hope you enjoyed. Oh, I can stand in a tree. I didn't do that. Oh, that's new. Ooh. Can I go higher? Ah, uh, no, that's it. Okay, so anyways, uh, let's... Uh, Jump to the outro and uh, end this video. See you later. Bye bye. And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, were all the Easter eggs from Ready Player One within the Driftwood home environment. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video. If you did, then be sure to slam that like button as always and let me know in the comments below what I should play uh, next. That would be nice. So before I go though, I would like to apologize for the frame rate and the tracking in this video. They weren't that great. I, uh, I couldn't really do much about it since SteamVR's home environment can only be recorded from a side-by-side -side perspective when using a Vive and I had to find a different way to record it in a 2D view instead. I finally got it to work after I discovered that the Oculus has a great headset output while using Steam. But then I noticed that the Rift doesn't perform that well within the Driftwood environment when you want to capture it in full screen. That explains the choppy FPS and the funny tracking, just so you know. And that's all I wanted to share for now. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video anyway and that it didn't really matter in the first place, but I, I just wanted to let you know that I tried to capture this in a smooth way, but this was the best 
I could do. And now it's time for me to sign off. And as I always say, and I see you guys uh, next time. See you in the VR Oasis. That's right. Bye-bye. See ya later. Whew.